Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to use chemical tests to identify the ions in unknown compounds. And this is a required practical so you need to learn the details. All of this is for triple chemistry students only. Now before we start I need to point out one thing. This required practical essentially involves carrying out all of the chemical tests that I've already discussed in previous videos. These are testing for metal ions using flame tests and sodium hydroxide solution, and testing for the non-metal ions carbonate, halides and sulphate. Now making another video where I go through all of these tests again is not very useful, so instead I'd strongly advise you to watch the videos I've already made. In this video I'm going to give you some sample questions so you can practice identifying the ions. Here's the first question. Compound A produced a lilac flame test. A sample of compound A was reacted with silver nitrate solution and dilute nitric acid. A yellow precipitate was formed. Identify compound A. So pause the video and try this yourself. OK, well a lilac flame test tells us that compound A contains the potassium ion. The silver nitrate test produced a yellow precipitate and that tells us that compound A contains the iodide ion. So compound A is potassium iodide. Here's another question. Compound B produced an orange-red flame test. A sample of compound B effervesced when tested with hydrochloric acid. The gas produced turned lime water cloudy. Identify compound B. So again, pause the video and try this yourself. OK, so compound B produced an orange-red flame test. That tells us that compound B contains the calcium ion. When compound B was reacted with an acid, it effervesced, and the gas turned lime water cloudy. This tells us that compound B also contains the carbonate ion. So compound B is calcium carbonate. OK, here's the final question. Compound C was reacted with sodium hydroxide solution and produced a blue precipitate. Compound C was then reacted with barium chloride solution and dilute hydrochloric acid. This reaction produced a white precipitate. Identify compound C. So pause the video for a final time and try this yourself. OK, well compound C produced a blue precipitate with sodium hydroxide solution. This tells us that compound C must contain the copper 2 ion. Compound C also produced a white precipitate with barium chloride and hydrochloric acid. This tells us that compound C contains the sulphate ion. So in this case compound C was copper 2 sulphate. Now if I can give you one piece of advice it's to really carefully learn the tests for metal and non-metal ions. I know there are a lot of tests and they can seem a bit confusing. The best way to learn them is to write flashcards and keep doing these until you know them off by heart. Many students simply don't learn the tests, but you can expect questions on them in your exam, so it really is worth making the effort. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on testing for metal and non-metal ions in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 